Kodai, what have you been happiest with in these first two starts of the season for you? Well, the first two starts of the season for you? Well, the first two starts of the season for you? Well, the first two starts of the season for you? Well, the first two starts of the season for you? Well, the first two starts of the season for you? I think the biggest part is I can throw a strike when I want to throw a strike. I can manage the count and control my pitch as well. Was this start different just in terms of a feel going into it than your first one when you described your legs as feeling like ghosts in that first inning? The first inning, the legs were like a ghost. I was thinking about it, but I was thinking about it. But I was thinking about it. 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 Yeah, I think today I was able to prepare well. My legs felt normal. Um, I felt pretty normal going into it. What do you make of the fan reception that you got? They're hanging up ghosts for your strikeouts. Just the the reactions that they the fans had to your performance today. リアクションとかはどういうふうに受け止めてますか。いや、本当に。Obviously very grateful and I feel very warm and welcomed. Um, hopefully next time I can put up more ghosts. Uh, you mentioned your ability to, to throw strikes today with, with all your pitches. We all know about the fastball, the, the fork ball. Where do you feel the slider and the cutter are at this point? ストライクを取れる取りたい時に取れるっていう風におっしゃってましたが、えまっすぐとフォークはもちろんカットとスライダーはどのように使ってましたかどのような感じでしたか。えまあまっすぐとフォークだけにならないようにいいアクセントになって
I was I happened to give up a run, so um, that doesn't that's not a very good flow of the game, and hopefully I can uh, adjust and get better for that next time. You, you hit some balls hard earlier in the game. What, how nice was it to be rewarded there in the home run? <laughs> You know, I've been I've been working a lot with the hitting coaches, um, a lot each and every day. And today I spoke a lot with them, and I spoke a lot with with, with Chavi. And and the one thing that that he told me was to trust in my hands. And I think that's been my biggest problem was was not necessarily trusting in my in my hands when I'm up there at the plate. And, um, you know, we we were in the cage, we, we were hitting off the machine a lot, so. So I, I felt like with, with all those reps that I, that I was able to take, I was able to bring that into the field today. What does it mean to trust your hands? 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 Confía en tus manos, tienes que dejar que la bola te llegue y que te gane para que le la bola para, para la banda contraria. Y eso es cuando una vez que tú le comenzas la bola para la banda contraria, la confianza vuelve a retomar porque estás agarrando confianza en tus manos para que to, todo cuando te relacen el pichado pegado, tú solamente reaccionas. No, you see, um, if, if you see me at the plate, sometimes when I'm when I'm lunging too much and and I'm missing a lot of a lot of what you would think are are hittable pitches, it's because I'm I'm anxious to, uh, to the ball instead of actually trusting the ball, uh, trusting my hands and 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 letting the ball letting the ball get in a little deeper. And if it does beat me, I can hit it opposite field. And if they go inside with it, with that ball, I can just trust my hands and, and and react to it. And I think that's the biggest thing. It's just letting the ball travel a little bit deeper and and, and then reacting with my hands. Something like a trust issue where it might be a little bit more like a sign. What's difficult to work in that when you don't trust in I mean, it's not something foreign to me. It, it's things that things that happen sometimes in the season. In, in my career, I, I've, I've been a slow starter, but um, it's one of those things where you have to continue to come in each and every day with a positive attitude and, and a strong mentality to just try to get better. And and I think for me, is going into that cage and, and, and doing the best that I possibly can. At the end of the day, I'm not going to be able to to control what what the results are, but what I can control is my work ethic and and, and my my eagerness to actually to get better at each other day. When you, got, <coughs> when you got to second base, you let out kind of a big scream, flexed your arms a little bit. Was that the excitement of the moment, or was that also letting out some of the frustration so far? When you got to second base, you let out a big scream, flexed your arms a little bit. Was that the excitement of the moment, or was that also letting out some of the frustration so far? I think that's part of the work. When you come to the work, 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 Cuando te cae uno, uno se agarra la emoción porque uno ve, comienza a ver resultados de lo que está trabajando y, y, y yo sé cómo he comenzado y, y para mí lo importante es que voy día a día, pero que golpeé la bola bien nuevamente en el, en el, en el turno anterior, en el primer turno. Me hice una buena jugada en el segundo, pero la bola también la golpeé bien, no se fue en el tercero, la bola la golpeé bien y, y se fue la bola. Yo creo que esa parte de la emoción, pero ya que tú ves que, que están comenzando a golpear la bola bien, este, los resultados vienen ahí muy rápidamente. I, I think it comes uh, with, with part of the job, just kind of where how, how things have played out in, 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 earlier in the game, where I hit the ball well in that second inning, the ball was caught, I hit the ball again well, um, and it didn't go out. And then when, when you get that result where you hit the home run, you, you get excited because you, you want to appreciate that moment, but at the, at the end of the day, it's, you, you take things one day at a time because you have to continue to go out there and continue to work so, 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 so you can get consistent results. It's home run there specifically, whether it's feel or, or approach, what are you doing particularly well? Um, I mean, it's uh, it's honestly just not, not giving in and just staying confident and 
and trusting myself in what I'm seeing and, and letting pitchers uh, come to my zone and not necessarily try and force anything. Um, I think I'm doing a really good job of, of not giving in, not, not necessarily just because I'm, pitchers may throw strikes doesn't mean they may, they may not be drivable or something I can handle. So uh, for me, I've been doing a really good job uh, especially the past few games of, of staying in my area and then capitalizing on stuff when it is there. How much better do you think you've gotten at that particular skill set from day one in the big leagues to where you are right now? Um, I mean, I, I'd like to think I, I've gotten better as uh, as the more time I've, I've been a big leaguer. I feel like that uh, my ability to, to make adjustments and, and self-evaluate has been pretty good but again like it's a long season I mean I'm, I'm really I'm really happy with the way I've been playing the past few few days but again it's a long season I want to be able to uh, capitalize and be the best I can as, as many as many games as I can be. Pete what's going through your mind right before the homer there's all that kind of confusion about the mound visits and whatnot and delay a game there what's going through your mind to stay locked in? Um, just whenever whenever we get the game going just see a pitch in my area and uh, if, if it's there, don't miss it. Stay as quick and efficient to the baseball as possible. So, um, yeah, I mean, also before before that, Francisco had a hell of an at bat, uh, just just grinding grinding out, uh, getting that two strike hit. That was that was absolutely huge for us. And then um, I, I think Eduardo's at bat, uh, that that homer was was sick. I mean, that that really that really put us over the top today. And like I think he was feeling really feeling really good. Uh, he's having great at bats, but. Uh, for that ball to go over the wall, for, not just for him, it was, it was obviously good for him, but uh, huge for us as a team. So uh, great at bats up and down the lineup again today. So it was, it was great. Pete, we know how popular Eduardo is in this room. So I mean, you mentioned it was big for the team. Just what was what was the feeling in that dugout, and, and you know, just watching how excited he was, obviously, when that cleared the fence. Well, I mean, yeah, he's he's just a, he's a special individual in the best way possible. I mean, he's a, he's a great teammate and a great human being. And um, I mean, for he's been playing unreal defense for us. He's been impacting the game in a huge way, which I feel like has gone a little unnoticed because he's been so good defensively over there. That's that's really saved a lot of runs for us defensively. And for him to come through and, and kind of um, put the dagger in the heart, I mean, that was that was huge for us. So for him to to start feeling better and, and really get in there. That was awesome. I mean, I thought we did a great job up and down the lineup, grinding at bats and uh, getting the starter out uh, in a relatively early in the ball game. Uh, to you, what's been the most impressive part of how Kodai has adapted to the new environment? Um, I mean, his English is getting better every day and he's he's been embracing not just uh, the American lifestyle and culture, but he's embracing uh, every single guy on this team. And it, it's been really special to see because um, I mean, he's, he said he's, he's, I mean, it's, it's different. I mean, he's got um, all of his family back over at home and for him to, to perform the way he has and for him to have the poise and discipline and, and for him to execute the way he has, it's, it's really special. So, I mean, I, I can't imagine what, what he's gone through because you can only experience it by doing so. Um, what he's been able to do has been really special. And I, I just, it's, it's been really fun to watch. Pete, is there, was there, I know the season is a long season and a long process at that point, but was there an at bat in Milwaukee where it felt like something clicked? Was it the opposite field home run? Or? Um, no, I mean, it's just, um, I mean, you can't really point it out to one thing. I mean, it, it felt really good. Um, like me at the plate, I, I, I felt good this entire way. Sometimes, sometimes you get beat. I mean, the other, the other guy um, on the other side, he gets paid to get me out. And for me, I, I get paid to get a hit off him. So um, sometimes in the big leagues, it's, it's really hard. Uh, even though you feel good, you feel nice. You, I have, I'm really, really happy how I've stuck to my process. And um, uh, yeah, really pleased with that. What did you think about the reception here for Kodak fishing in New York for the first time and all the stuff like the, the ghosts on the jumbo trout? Oh, it's sick. When they had the, the Senga and the, and, the, and the ghost logo up there, I thought, I thought that was sick. And, um, super well deserved because I mean he's he's got something that's extremely unique and I mean I mean he's nasty today he's nasty in the first start and I just wanted to keep being being great for us.